Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to upgrade this um, Mitsubishi uh, HMI from CCSL to our LSP R series LED kits. LED kit including LS R series, LED strip, 6 pin pigtail, 1 drivers. Um, the model number is so tiny, so I just train right here. It's called GT1575V-STBA. So let's back end the two more modules here, and then front will look like this. Okay, G GOT one thousand series. So in we have to take this two module out and take the back half out. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. Take it out. Okay, go out. That's the another two modules. Okay, that's four screws. All right, another module popped up. Okay. Okay. All right. So the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight schools we have removed. School. Uh, we just pop it up. This battery. I don't have battery here, so put it right here. Now we see. It. Power supply, main board, there's two main boards, and um, the CCL inverter board. Okay, so first thing first, I'd like to. Uh, so for this particular model, looks like uh, the lamps mounting here. Okay, so we can just, without disassemble everything, just remove the inverter. And, uh, and then after that, we're gonna try to mount here, mount our driver maybe here. And then just slide this one out. On the next video but let me determine see measure the voltage on this one see what's what's the voltage on this let's say okay this one let's assume it's a guang the weight should be 12 volt yeah so this one is guang and this is should be enabled Let me shut off power and turn it on again to confirm. Yep. So, let me shut off first. The wet shower box, okay. Next to wet, this blue is Guang, this blue is enable. I'm going to cut it off and just start to, uh, to, uh, to this wire harness. Then I show it to you, okay? Plastic pole. Uh, you can see, so you just pull it out. Like this. Yep. Take it out. And take out the other side. Okay. Oops. Oops. Yep, so here. So just take it out like this. And disconnect this. Or connector, we already find out that uh, the wet is uh, trouble. Next to the wet is ground. This is enable. This is, should be adjust. Okay, only we do I remove the inverters. I mount our driver back to because I couldn't mount like this thing. It's not wide enough, so I had to put it in vertical. Uh, mount it and add a little bit high glue on both sides. So make sure you stay there. And then this red wire, you don't need to. Uh, you can just, uh, just cut it off. Okay, as you can see, those pink one, pink two, orange, red connect to the, the pink color, which is trouble. This one black is a negative zero volt. This yellow connected to blue is enabled. Okay, so everything's done. Now, how do we remove the backlight lamp? It's easy. I want to show it to you here. There's a plastic clutch. You push it down, grab the wire, slice out. Easy, that's easy part, okay? So, and then you're gonna put it right back. Maybe this angle is better for you. Okay, you put it right back. Yeah. Pull away, right? Usually, I will add a piece of uh, this is uh, heat sink. Here's the part numbers. You be uh, five four two two zero heat sink. Okay, you bend a little bit, so make sure I push the light up. Um, 
every strip all the way up. Bend a little bit more, yeah. Okay, so when you push it in, it will push the. That's it. Then you just connect this end to any one of this. Maybe I should add a piece of tip. So and um, secure the, the wire like this. So in this video, I'm gonna put everything back and show it to you and five the power. Let you see the results. And connect the AC cord here. So let's take a look. It's quite easy to install. The only hard difficult part is the start of the wires. So let me um, shut off the light and then I can turn it on. Lights on. Yep, it's putting. Quite easy. Just slice this out, put it in, and uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching.